All right, I'm just gonna do some farming now. Unfortunately, didn't have enough potatoes to fill out the whole farm, but I'll just repaste um, with what I get from this, and then we'll be able to fill it out the entire farm. Um, then I'll start doing some of these orders, and then I haven't done any potato yet, so I'll hopefully get a lot of milestones as well. All right, and as you can see, after just that short little bit, we got 10, 20, that's 30, 60, 100, 150, if my math is correct, garden experience. So um, we're still a ways away from getting all the way to um, cocoa beans, but you know, that's fine. So just keep going, I guess. All right, just finished up, gonna reconfigure or repaste it or whatever. I should have enough. All right, um, compost, and then we get another plot. What's the next one? 16, okay, not too bad. I gotta go to clean up. I completely forgot. I'm gonna go do that. All right, just finished clearing plot two. I don't know what I'm gonna paste in here. Maybe a new crop, maybe just like weed again. Probably just weed again. New plot, just decided to do weed. I uh, went through the potato once through and I got, let's see, how many, this many enchanted potatoes. So this person is going to give me five. Sick. Um, now I'm going to buy something with this copper. Okay. I just rewatched a video about like using the builder's ruler to make farms better. It's not like it's the most efficient type of farm, but, um, that's like for when you're way end and way end game. So I'm just gonna buy Builder's Ruler. And then I'm gonna make some changes to this over here. So yeah, I'll be back. Alright, hopefully I'm doing this right. Uh just do one of these. Sick. Okay, that's cause it's facing this way and the yeah, growing stuff. Oh wow. That's so cool. Oh, wait. Undo, undo, undo. Whew. Okay. It's my six. I guess I got an enchanting level 40. Nice. This means I get metaphysical. Cool. Okay, so I just finished, like, I used the builder's ruler um, to make this farm. It's, like, gonna be pretty pretty much permanent probably so um yeah that's why i put some more time and work into it um there's like some specific angle i need to get but i don't even think i have the speed uh i'm gonna be honest probably just will use potions or something but it's like uh this or something you just go like this all right All right, cool. We just got garden level up. Level seven, 2,000 to get two cocoa beans. That's achievable. Probably could do more wheat and more carrot. Definitely more pumpkin. Pumpkin's going slow, I'll be honest. All right, so we just need recipe for tra tarantula boots. So I'm gonna go do tarantula then. We'll each one of these, where it be. This person has cow. That must like be, cause it gives you some effect. Is there a max amount of damage you can do on it? This is cool, I guess. Ooh, I got a luxurious spool. I, I know that that can get you a good, um, the silky thing. It's like a good reforge or whatever, a good reforge stone. Arachne is calling as a guaranteed drop from Arachne's keepers, but also has a 0.2% chance to drop from the dasher spiders or, oh. Well, this quest is telling me to kill Arachne. Please. That's all I got, folks. This guy's got one. One more. Alright, he placed. This is slow. It spawned. I don't really know how this boss fight works, to be honest. But, uh, I'm sort of just, like, chilling here. Okay, we got another spool and another fragment. Some more soul string. Sick. 
Uh, I'm gonna go talk to this guy. Oh, well, sir. I get 10 spider essence. Sick. Okay. My guy's placing again. Alright, I might leech a couple of these. Luxurious fool. Arachne's boots. Ooh, I did 36k there. Alright, I've placed I've placed because one, two, three, four, five luxurious pools and then three back at the place. So hopefully someone else will place. Bep, 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 bep. I guess this is the strat. Oh yeah, it is the strat. Oh, this is how I die. Yay! We got a luxurious pool. That's enough for Silky, I think. Okay, we got nine luxurious pools. I'm going to go get the Silky. I got sighted. Can I? Okay, I can still use sighted. You only need to do it once. That's what I thought. Alright, Silky is 242 crit damage versus Warrior. Let's do a bit of a test. Warrior, here, here goes. Alright, this is with Griffin. Warrior selected. I'm just gonna use Monster Hunter. 27k. How much is it if we use... 27, it's the same. Now, let's change it to Silky. Let's check how much crit damage do we have. A lot. Our, our, our strength and crit damage balancing is not very good. I wonder if we could like change the reforge or something and it would be better that way. All right, same exact everything. Griffin, uh, Monster Hunter. 31. Well, uh, 36? 31. Okay. I, it technically is better. 4K. Not bad. I think I could make it more if I somehow balanced out the strength. Cool. God pot was definitely a good idea. That took like how many seconds? I don't know. <laughs> Not many. <laughs> and we're doing 34k damage. Like, did it slow me down right here? Like, what is going on, bro? Bane of Arthropod 6? Okay, I guess I can't be mad at that. Boss going pretty fast too. Till now. Another bite room? Yo, I don't- I guess I didn't record it, but we hit Slayer level 5, and we got a uh, helmet, chestplate, tarantula minion, all that good stuff. Helmet, and chestplate. There you go. There are the recipes. I think I can craft all of these. I just need the flint. So, that's cool. No, but serious. Uh, I guess I got this. Top of nest. I don't know about this one, folks. No! I threw! And and a god pot wasted as well. The next day. Alright, so I've been grinding gl glowing mushrooms for like a couple minutes. Probably took me like 20 minutes. Anyways, buying 32 chum buckets, I should have enough for 32. So I can get the chum talisman. And also enchanted the chum rod as well. So let's just buy these real quick. Alright, I accidentally bought one, so now I gotta do it like weird. There we go, there's 32. And I think I'll just start here. The spooky vessel is starting in 28 minutes, so I got a bit of time to do some spooky fishing. I think I'll just do it right here, because there's a bunch of people, so. All right, I moved over here because it's going pretty slow. So I'm gonna do some chump fishing here. All right, spooky festival is starting very soon. Yeah, five seconds. So I'm gonna use this spooky armor. I've never used it before, so I'll probably get more. I just, it's been a while since I've done a spooky festival and I've never used um, this during one of the spooky festivals. So last time it was just like, I think I got, I think my max was, I was able to get like two stacks of purple. So we'll see how many we get this time, but I'm just going to be in the hub grinding crypt ghouls. Cause that's what I did, uh, last time. All right. So spooky festival's over. We got almost a little over three stacks of purple candy, which is not, not bad. We got on the other hand, a lot of green candy and then some just like of this random stuff. 
Okay, I have the Intimidation Ring right here, and I can upgrade it to Intimidation Artifact. There we go. Alright, and here are the rewards. Spooky Pie. Spooky Disc. 100k coins. Fan Prism 6. I did not know I would get this, but sure, why not? Cool. Alright, and at this point, I have a lot of green candy, and there's not much I can use it for, except I can buy the uh, Bat Fireworks. Um, and as some, someone was saying in the comments, you can buy these and basically it's just like a way to convert green candy into purple. Um, cause the bat pinatas will drop some purple candy. So I'm just going to buy a bunch of these. I don't have enough inventory space. Okay. We got 19. We got another hide. Oh, yeah. I think I have to get a hit on it because I just I didn't hit it that time and it didn't give me anything for it. Oh, I got Fish Affinity Talisman. GG. All right, so earlier in the video, I said that the last thing I needed to do in order to craft tarantula boots was get the recipe, but I actually didn't have everything that I needed to craft it. I needed the spider catalyst still. So that's what I did during the stream. Uh, you saw some clips of me grinding some spider slayers, and that's what I was doing, just trying to get the spider catalyst. And this was all recorded live, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to drop it live. I actually dropped it like a couple days after I did the live stream. So here's that clip. Finally. Okay, um, I have, this should be everything right here. I don't have it, um, it's like stacks instead of half stacks, but between this chest and this, that should be enough silk. Um, I have enough web at least, but in order to get all the silk for full tarantula, which I just said, I'm just gonna try to get, I need more flint. I'm going to need five more stacks of flint. So I'm gonna go see if I can get that. Okay, I've been grinding flint for like the past couple hours, probably. I don't know, it didn't take too long, so it wasn't that bad, but uh, we got enough flint to craft enough tarantula silk, or whatever it's called. And then we also have enough iron, and we dropped the spider catalyst as well, so uh, let's just get crafting this. First, we'll start out with the silk. Let's grab all the iron then, the spider catalyst. Uh, I do not remember the recipes for these at all, so. All right, I have the recipes pulled up on the wiki. I'm going to grab these spider boots, and we'll start out with the boots. All right, everybody, there we have it. Full tarantula. It's nice that we were able to craft it all in one go because then the spider bulwark perk, it'll all be synced up, which is nice. But the main thing is boots because uh, we can use this to get monster raider. So I'm just going to do that right away, actually. So if we go ahead and put the tarantula boots with the monster hunter set, select it. You discover the secret set bonus monster raider armor. So before against um i have footage from i was a stream i was doing last night but we had silky with attack speed as the stats tuning so if i go to the end okay we're here in the end got the griffin pet out monster raider i think we we're doing somewhere on 27k last time but i don't want to like guess because i might be wrong i'll just pull up the footage from the damage test before so 35k that is definitely more than what we were doing yeah that is pretty substantial that is great cool okay i have a bunch of chanted potato boom a bunch out of the way carrot sack completely full i could i guess just go enchanted but I think everything in the sacks I don't really need. Enchanted, there's not much of anything. 
And then here I have carrots, pumpkin, mushroom, whatever, um, potato, and uh, wheat. And I don't think I need any of it. Um, the potatoes replanted and the carrot, I'll get enough to replant it from all of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and start up some compost. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get a decent bit. All right, everybody, and that is the end of the video. Um, I realized I never really followed up with the whole like chum bucket thing. So I ended up filling 14 out of the 32 chum buckets. So I still have 18 left to go, but uh, I'll just get that if any other fishing events come up or if I just feel like doing it someday and then we can get the chumming talisman. Other than that, um, I just hope you enjoy this video. I am going to be streaming a lot this week, hopefully. So uh, yeah, feel free to tune in. It might be randomly throughout the day or it might be during the evening. Who knows? So uh, yep. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you.